Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between lush green hills, there lived a poor widow named Amma. Amma was kind-hearted and generous. Despite having very little for herself, she lived in a tiny, thatched roof cottage, and worked hard every day to make ends meet. She had only a small plot of land, where she grew vegetables and a single cow, that provided her with milk. One cold winter evening, Amma was returning home from the market with a few coins, she had earned selling her vegetables. As she walked through the forest, she heard a faint cry coming from the bushes. Curious and concerned, she followed the sound and found a small, injured bird lying on the ground. Amma gently picked up the bird and took it home. She tended to its wounds, fed it, and kept it warm. Over the next few days, the bird slowly regained its strength. Amma was delighted to see it recover and, one morning, the bird was well enough to fly away. As it perched on her window sill, it looked at her with gratitude and Thank said, Thank you, kind lady, for saving my life. I am no ordinary bird but a magical one. I wish to repay your kindness. Amma was taken aback. I did what anyone would have done. She replied modestly. I do not need any repayment. But the bird insisted. I must do something to show my gratitude. When the full moon rises tonight, go to the big oak tree at the edge of the forest and knock three times. You will find a special gift waiting for you. That evening, as the full moon rose high in the sky, Emma walked to the big oak tree as instructed. She knocked three times and waited. Suddenly, a door appeared in the trunk of the tree, and out stepped a tiny fairy. Welcome, Emma, said the fairy with a warm smile. You have shown great kindness, and we wish to reward you. Follow me. The fairy led Emma into the tree, and to her amazement, she found herself in a beautiful, sparkling chamber filled with gold, jewels, and treasures of all kinds. Take as much as you need, said the fairy. This is your reward for your selflessness and kindness. Emma was overwhelmed. She took only a small bag of gold coins, and a few jewels, enough to live comfortably and help others in her village. She thanked the fairy and returned home, her heart filled with gratitude and joy. With her newfound wealth, Emma repaired her cottage, bought more land, and shared her fortune with her neighbors. She helped rebuild homes, provided food for the hungry, and ensured that no one in her village went without. The village prospered, and Emma was loved and respected by all. Her act of kindness towards the little bird, had brought blessings not just to her, but to the entire community. And so, the story of Emma, the poor widow whose kindness transformed her life, and the lives of those around her, became a cherished folktale passed down through generations.